Hey, do you guys want to listen to some electro pop music? Whoa, you listen to that? Just on long car trips. It helps keep me awake. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Disco Lions coming at you with my first video. We'll see how this goes. If it goes well, I'll probably make more. If it doesn't go well, I'll probably make more too. But today I wanted to give you guys a little walkthrough of my remix um, for Halsey, Khalid, and Benny Blanco's song Eastside. The melody of the original song was super simple. Um, it sounded great when I first heard it. I was like, this is amazing. So I thought it'd be a good idea to remix it. And the whole reason for this video is because it just reached 100,000 plays on SoundCloud, which is beautiful. So I thought I'd give you guys a little walkthrough of how I made this track. Okay, where the fuck are my headphones? So here we go. Here is our project file. It's kind of messy right now. I try to organize it for this video, but my project files are usually pretty messy. One thing to note is that if it does sound a little flat, I had to turn off the mastering chain because I'm currently running OBS to stream this and it was just overloading my CPU. So I had to turn that down and balance out a lot of my MIDI files to stem. I'll probably make more videos on the actual synths and sounds I create, like sound design aspects of music production. But this whole video is about showing you the organization and structure of how I built this song. So the first element of the song is this little vocal chop. And that's just a reversed section of the intro vocal here. I just reversed it, put on a ton of reverb, and then that creates a really nice uplifter. As we transition to the intro, we hear this. And that's pretty simple too. All I have is the vocals of the main song. Um, and I actually took this from the outro of the original song, this little chop right here. EQ'd it, took out the low frequencies, and then I have that layered with this bass. And yeah, for the bass, all I did was turn down the attack, gave it this cool little envelope, and then I added a glue compressor and some side chaining. And then the verses are the same thing as the intro for the most part. I kept the original vocals from the song. Again, I just added some EQ on it, took out the low frequencies, and I kept that bass. Um, but I also decided to add this little kick. It introduces people to the drop before we actually get going. Um, and then I add some shakers and tams in there too. So in the pre-drop, I just added this little pluck that's playing um, eighth notes. So that's playing along with this guy. And again, just like the main bass I had, it's this synth is getting side chained to the kick drum. So it gives it that energy. This is it without it. That sounds super boring with it. And then the final element of this drop is the drums. And it's just simple, basic drop stuff that anyone would do. Nothing special, a lot of effects, a lot of claps and snares. So if we wanna layer everything together, let's start out with this guy. And the final thing I want to make note of from this drop is the vocal chops that I used in it, these guys. So to make those, all you need to do, all I did was take Khalid's vocals. I think it was this section actually. Right click, you press slice the new mini track. And that'll create markers at different transients in the song based on what you selected. That will allow you to play different sections of the song and slice it up. So before I did that, I just pitched up seven semitones to give it an airy feel. And then I filtered that in throughout the entire drop. And again, with every element of the song throughout the drop, I'm filtering it in. So I'm not having everything play at once. I'm using an auto filter on everything to give it an uprising feeling. Side. 
So now we're at the drop. So I start out with a kick and a clap, and then I added these guys. This is what my 808 sounds like. Pretty basic. I just used a hip hop sub bass plugin from Ableton. It works like a charm every time. And again, just like my main bass and a lot of other elements of the song, this is getting side chain. For the drop, I start out with these synths. And then I wanted to add more layers to it. This is the main vocal chop you guys heard in the intro. But I wanted to give it more life in the drop, so I added these two other guys on a stereo side to give it more room. And again, all I have on these is a bunch of effects. I'll don't want to really want to get into detail of that. And then these more of these little like vocal like transition things. Now here's the drop. Start with this guy. Then we add the vocal chops. And then we add the drums. And then when we get to the second half of the drop, I play around with the warping features of my main synth, and then I also pitched it up a few semitones just to um, just to make sure this track doesn't get boring. You hear the same thing over and over again. So here's that transition here. Yeah, pretty basic stuff. I also put a little auto filter in so the song kind of swoops down. It's the small things that make a good song, guys. It's all that matters. It's the small things. And then, yeah, that's basically the entire drop. For the second verse, instead of playing eighth notes, these plucks are now playing quarter notes. I wanted to switch up the rhythm of the song and kind of slow it down for the listener. And then I also added this little guy. which just adds a little bit more tension to the song. And then I added this little bridge here before the drop. I just repeated the, I got this idea from, I think a Yacht Club remix where he took the vocals and just repeated them and played quarter notes with them. And I tried doing that to my song and it sounded great. So I just kept it in. Here's what that sounds like. If you add everything together, it sounds like this. Yeah, so basically the second drop is just a copy of the first drop with more percussive elements. I think I added these snares and these claps onto it right here. Nothing too special. And then as we move to the outro, I just took that main synth from the drop and gave it some auto filter so that it didn't sound as far as it was. Yeah, so that's basically the entirety of my remix. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope you enjoyed taking a glimpse into what goes on in my mind when I create a song. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna do some more videos like these in the future. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I wanna keep making these videos where I explain how I make music. I think it's a really good learning experience for people. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a like. Smash that motherfucking like button um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. I love you all. Peace.